But yeah, this person ghosted you because they found out some information that um these are people that, you know, they were literally operating out of dark energy. So they came to this person with as if they knew some information, but it was a lie. Like they found something out about you that was hidden. But it was a lie. It was to keep that person stuck. Six of Wands is here. It's like right after that person ghosted you, you you were having victory and success. You're at the Six of Wands. You're someone that's very successful. You're a leader. A lot of people, as I say, they look up to you. You inspire people. And it's like you, you're being seen for who you truly are. King of Pentacles is here. You could be in this energy where you're in the King of Pentacles energy. Yeah, and you're having victory and success. You're someone that's very stable. I'm so done. Whatever they said or whatever they did, it didn't work. It just made them look bad. Because they were trying to make you look bad. It's like they ran in and did something without even thinking. Wow, two of wands is here. They were trying to keep this person from coming towards you because... um. This person could have gained some type of financial um, gain or some type of money or something. Two of Wands and King of Pentacles. And they were trying to hold that person off. This person could have got a hold of some money or something. The Lovers is here. And then Four of Cups is here. Yeah, and they wanted this person to reject this spiritual connection. Wow, this is sad. Money is the root of all evil. Five of Wands is here. And it's like, it just all depends if you try to manifest money in a negative way or a positive way. So these are people that were trying to manifest in a negative way. But it's like this person was coming towards you in a positive way, but they were being blocked off. They were constantly at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. Yeah, they wanted them to reject this spiritual connection out of jealousy. Five of Wands is here, and they were fighting hard behind the scenes to try to have that person stuck. They wanted you to feel stuck. They knew you and this person shared the same soul. They figured if they, you know, would secretly try to have you stuck, you wouldn't be able to move forward, and that person would be stuck, and they wouldn't be able to move forward. It's like they knew that much of hidden knowledge, but they were operating out of dark energy, not out of positive energy. They don't want what's best for that person. These are people that are very selfish very jealous, very envious, and um, they, they're they dealing with some type of insecurities. Yeah, they wanted to, this person to reject this strong spiritual connection, mutual um, feeling that you and this person have with the lovers being here. <clears throat> the magician is here, and then Ten of Wands is here. Yeah, they're way down. They're burdened because you're in this musician energy. You're manifesting in a positive way. You're the musician of your own life. These are people that did not realize that. They thought that they were, you know, manifest burdens for you, but they've manifested them for their self. Whatever you're trying to manifest for someone else is coming back to you. And it's like you weren't trying to manifest anything for anyone but yourself. And that's why you're at the Six of Wands having victory and success. You weren't even paying attention to this. This was all done in the dark. But everything that's done in the dark, it comes to the light. Eight of Wands is here. And then the Death card is here. Wow. Some, yeah. These are people that, they were that jealous. Like, they could have been Eight of Wands, the Musician, and the Death card is here. They could have been trying to manifest, like, casting death spells and playing with rituals and things like that. This is stuff that people don't know about these type of people or these people. Or if people know, you know, these are people that are toxic and they operate in that same energy and they're okay with it. But what they did not expect was for this to come back. Like go straight back to them. Yeah, and it's like they're weighed down with all of this um, conflict, chaos, drama, and havoc. It only had that person at a stalemate not coming towards you so they can realize they're being weighed down. It's too much conflict around them. Something needs to change. They need to go through a transformation before even coming towards you or moving forward. 
Yeah, they need to find out the truth. The sun card is here. They need to see things for what it is. A lot of stuff needed to be illuminated to this person in order for them to have happiness. Because they could have been operating out of a dark energy around these people. Seven of Cups is here. And then Ten of Pentacles is here. Wow. They wanted this person to be confused about um, their Ten of Pentacles, their generational wealth, what they're supposed to do in life. It was all confusion. And they could be confused as to how are you sitting in your Ten of Pentacles? How are you in this Empress energy and very abundant? How were you able to move forward after they desperately tried to cause endings for you in secret? <laughs> this is sad. This is sad. Yeah, how are you so strong? The strength card is here. It's because you operate out of positive energy. You have very powerful ancestors. You're someone that already have went through a lot. These are people that don't even know you. So whatever they were throwing at you, it did not hit you. Four of Pentacles is here. This person have been holding on to you for strength. Yeah, the Will of Fortune is here. And it's like they realized that these are people that were trying to hold on to them because they knew about their birth chart. They were reading their um, fortune and different stuff like that. Things that, that, you know, you and this person have spiritually. Stuff that will manifest physically when you and this person come together, come in union. And, um... They were trying to, you know, hold on to this person for their good luck, their abundance. This is sad. And this is why these are people that were sitting back watching you. They could have been sitting back just talking about you in a negative way in front of this person. This person was sitting back trying to figure out why these people can't keep their mouth off of you. It's because they're stuck. These are people that ended up getting stuck as they were secretly Eight of Swords, the Moon card, trying to have you stuck. They got stuck in your energy. And they're binding and blinded. To the fact that they, they're owed a lot of karma for whatever they were doing in the dark. They got trapped in you and this person's energy. Wow, that's why they can't stop watching. Yeah, they were blinded to that. Two of Swords is here. Yeah, this is sad. It's like they were watching you trying to blind this person from the truth. Nine of Wands is here. Yeah, somebody that is watching you, they're sitting right <laughs> They're sitting back nervous, feeling guilty about some type of lie that they spread it on you to a sword to try to blind this person from the truth. They look like a fool. Yeah, a knight of swords that just ran in quick and did something without thinking, out of jealousy. Now they're sitting back nervous because they done got exposed. This person is seeing them for who they truly are. <laughs> Two of Cups is here and King of Cups is here. It's like this just made this person in love with you. They started off admiring you, page of cups, wanting to come towards you. They were just emotionally immature and did not, how, did not know how to express their self. And that's why they could be in regret as well. Because by them being at the page of cups, it made you just get on the chariot and move forward. They couldn't even express their emotions to you. But now they're in this king of cups energy. It's like they're emotionally mature and now they want to partner up with you and work with you. And come towards you. Seven of Swords is here. And Ace of Cups. Yeah. I'm so done. It's like they're trying to strategize. How can they come in and offer some type of emotion towards you? Or um, offer some type of love to you. They're trying to figure this out. Because they want to partner up with you. Yeah, to work with you. Eight of Pentacles is here. And then Three of Swords is here. Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're stressed out. And they're heartbroken. It's like somebody that could have been working with this person or working against this person. They're stuck in, you know, their head. Heartbroken, depressed. Because they were working hard. But they didn't realize they were working on their self, not you. As you and this person are twins, twin flames. They were trying to come between this union. They didn't know that this was something that was destined. And whatever they were doing, it would just immediately come back on them. If your twin was attached to these people, it would come back on them so they could see the truth. 
they didn't they didn't think that far. It's like they were at the Knight of Swords, jealous, doing stuff repulsively quick without even thinking. They didn't know it would leave them stressed out. They could be having nightmares. Three of Pentacles is here. And Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person could be, yeah. It's like this person, they want to partner up with you and work with you. But they could be depressed, stressed out, because they could see that you're getting ready to partner up with someone else. Or they're worried about you partnering up with someone else because you move forward. It's like, that's what you were supposed to do. You weren't supposed to be at a stalemate. They needed to realize they were at a stalemate. And they were keeping their self stuck, not you. Yeah. Even the people that they were attached to, they were only keeping their self stuck and not you. Six of Cups is here. And Knight of Cups. Yeah, they want to reconnect with you. This person want to reunite with you. They're coming towards you. Knight of Cups and this Knight of Cups energy. Three of Wands is here. And Three of Cups. Yeah, they made a decision that they want to reconcile with you. Queen of Swords is here. And then Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Page of Wands, yeah. This person sees you in this Queen of Swords energy. You're someone that's very intelligent. And um, you cut off people with the quickness. When it comes to you and your stability and your health with this Nine of Pentacles, you cut people off with the quickness. And it's not, you know, out of anger. Or, you know, you just go one way and that person go their way. You're not bitter. But um, you speak the truth to a person. And you'll cut them off. Yeah, and then you focus on yourself. It's like, that's what you have done. It's like, you could have cut out a lot of people and just started focusing on yourself. Nine of Pentacles is here. Six of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they want to communicate with you. They could want to give you something. Six of Pentacles. And then the world is here. This was a cycle that has been completed out. This person is realizing that um, something needed to be balanced out so they can complete a cycle in order to have a new beginning. Ace of Wands is here. In order to have their ultimate happiness, Ten of Cups is here. Two of Pentacles. And then the Hangman is here. Yeah, this person could be literally in some type of situation like they could be facing jail time and they're they're at the two of pentacles trying to figure out how can they balance this out or they're just stuck in some type of situation trying to figure out how can they balance it out this person could be literally paying and paying and paying for some situation that they're stuck in Yeah, they could be literally like paying out on a situation. And they didn't know that whoever they were attached to was doing stuff to try to have you stuck physically. So as they were attached to those people, it could have backfired onto that person. Like it went straight back. And all of a sudden, this person got wrapped up in some type of situation and they're trying to balance that out. It's like whatever you do come back on you and the people that you're attached to. As your twin was attached to these people and it was hidden, they don't know why they were under judgment. And it forced them to want to isolate, not even be around people. These are people that thought that they were doing something and they would have victory. It has had this person wanting to get on the chariot. That's it. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. Tower and then the Emperor is here. So, yeah. This Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that's very money hungry. They could be trapped in some type of situation with somebody and they're trying to balance this out. It's like the tower and emperor is here. This person took a fall being attached to, you know, a certain type of people. And it's like they've only lost around this person and this person don't even have anything. 
Yeah, this made this person come to a major realization. Wow. Nine of Cups is here. Whoever this person is, that's all they do is um, they overindulge. Like they get high, they get drunk, and they, they don't have any finances. They're out here trying to figure out how they can scam people. Yeah, this person is dealing with a lot of addictions. And they could have been trying to hide this because they want to keep that person attached to them. This could have been somebody that was supporting this person's habit. This is sad. Knight of Wands is here. Yeah. It's like this could have been somebody that they were having sex with and they were supporting this person's habit and they were a drug addict. They're not stable. They don't have any stability. They're very money hungry and they wanted that person to be stuck. As this person was attached to them, it's like they matured, but they came to a major realization who they were attached to. And it was only keeping them juggling and making them feel stuck. It's like they were making sacrifices that they shouldn't have been making for this person to keep them um, high or drunk. Keep them overindulging in their addictions. Yeah, this is somebody that they needed to cut off. King of Swords is here. It's like they need to stand up, speak the truth to this person and cut off things that no longer serve purpose in their life. And they could have had this person in this immature energy, you know, with spell work and had this person where they weren't able to express themselves properly so they wouldn't be able to stand up and express themselves to that person and cut them off. They wanted this person to be ungrounded. They're realizing they need to walk away from whatever they were investing in because it was slowing them down and get more grounded and get the abundance. Because it's like if they were attached to somebody um, that was very toxic and had addictions and stuff like that, it was just keeping them in a low vibrational energy. Whatever was being given to them, it was snatched. They couldn't hold on to anything. And it's like that person was trying to hold on to them. Because they looked at that person as someone who was, you know, had good luck and abundance. But it's like this person was at the Two of Pentacles or is at the Two of Pentacles. They're struggling between thoughts and finance trying to figure this out. On top of being wrapped up. So it's like somebody tried to have this person stuck. They knew this person would be moving forward. They knew about the spiritual connection. They knew that this person would be abundant with you. But they figure if they do something to try to have you stuck, Knowing that you and this person share the same soul, this person wouldn't want to come towards you. They would just be stuck to them and this would be their secret. It would be hidden. What they did not realize is that whatever you do come back on you tenfold, good or bad, especially if you and this person have the same soul. So whatever they were doing to you, it came back on that person and they weren't even financially stable. They weren't even able to feed this person's addictions no more. It's like this person set their self up to go through endings and they're under judgment. But they didn't see it that way when they ran in quick at the Knight of Swords and did something without thinking. 